welcome to Wild Tribe. I'm Belinda, bubbly Belinda, the butterfly. And do you remember, this is Brian. Do you remember his name? Brian, the burrowing badger. Can you remember your nature name? Today on Wild Tribe, we're going to be making nature bouquets. And for this, you'll need to see if you can go on a little walk to your local park, woodland, just around your garden, or even just pick a few things from your window box. When you're out on your nature walk, I want you to look for a different variety of grasses and leaves that you can pick. I want you to see if you can find ones that are fluffy. Can you find anything that's hairy, that it's smooth? Look out for different colours. It's okay if you want to pick one wild flower, as long as you're not uprooting the whole plant. I picked bluebell here. Okay, so you're going to be looking out for colours and textures and different sizes, different shapes of leaves. Enjoy your walk. When you're out on your daily walk, have a really good look at the different flowers and grasses that you can see. We've got campy in there, the pink flowers, the little white ones, we've got wood and enemy, and we've got some German Speedwell and we've got lots of beautiful beautiful cow parsley that's waving in the breeze here. See there's a wonderful array of different sorts of grasses. You've got some bluebells over there and some dandelion and some lesser celandine in the distance and down here we've got some plantain, the ones with the big brown buds on the top. Okay, so now you've gathered your different vegetation, you can start to make your nature bouquet. Okay, there's no set way of doing it, you just want to pick up and add different colours, different lengths, just anything that you would like to put into your bouquet and as you're doing it just notice the huge variety that there is out there in nature so many different colors so many different shapes okay and as you go just pop the grasses all the leaves together. Notice how they're all very, very different. And really, they're like us. They're like humans. Because we're all different and we're all unique and we all bring something special to our family, to our school and to the world. Once you've assembled your grasses, you can take a piece of string, scissors, you might have a ribbon, okay, and you're going to tie them up together using a reef knot, like we learned last time. We're going to take the two ends, we're going to put the left over the right and pull it underneath, fasten it securely, and then the right one over the left one and pull it down to make a secure knot okay if you want it to finish with a bow making two ears and following the knot round you could finish with a bow okay if you don't have a piece of string you might be able to find a long piece of grass but alternatively you could use as natural twine for tying up your bouquet. So there we have it. What do you think Brian? Do you think it's good? Very unique. Thank you for watching us today and remember in Wild Tribe we're going to look after ourselves, we're going to look after each other and we're going to look after our environment. Thank you for listening.